Our next focus is on talking about a property of polynomials, which is called degree. But before we get to the degree of a polynomial, I want to talk about a little bit of terminology. When we have some variable expression, a monomial like 5x to the third, the number that is in front of the variable term is referred to as the coefficient. Is referred to as the coefficient. And then the variable part is just literally called that, the variable part. So the x to the third would be the variable part. So in 5x to the third, 5 is called the coefficient, and then the x to the third is just the variable part. Now our main focus in this uh, video here is to talk about a property that both polynomials and monomials have, which is called degree. Now there's not a ton of, uh, it's just really a property, a thing that we can talk about for polynomials right now. A little bit later this idea of degree will be something we'll use again. So that's the main reason we're talking about it right now. So what does it mean to talk about degree of a polynomial? Well, first we begin with a monomial. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents on its variables. So when we have an expression with variables, we look at the exponents on those variables and we say, hey, what is that? Now that's for a monomial, a single term. Okay, so for example, if we had 5x to the third, well, when we have just a single variable, like 5x to the third, the degree is just the exponent. A little ahead of myself there. So 5x to the third, the degree is 3. Uh, as another example, consider uh, the monomial negative 14x. Remember, when we have a single variable, and it doesn't have an exponent on it, the exponent is 1. So the degree of negative 14x is actually just 1. What about the number 36? Well, that has no variable part. Well, that's kind of a little hint to you. Uh, we have no x's, so we actually have zero x's involved. Uh, so another way to remember that is that every number can be written as that number times x raised to the zero power. We have zero x's involved. So when we have just a number, that's actually called degree zero. That's actually called degree zero. Now things are just a little bit more involved if we have multiple variables. That's where we actually add up the exponents when we have multiple variables involved in one monomial. So we just add them up. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So 17x squared y cubed has degree 5. Degree 5. Now when it comes to a polynomial we just look at each monomial and figure out its degree and then the polynomial is going to be whichever one's the biggest. So the degree of a polynomial is the largest is the largest degree of its terms. Is the largest degree of its terms. Okay, so let's look at a couple of polynomials here. Uh, the first example we have polynomials where we only have the one variable. Uh, so 7x squared minus 24x to the fourth plus 19x. So we have just the one variable here. And so that one's easy. We just look at each one in turn. Uh, 7x squared, there's only the one variable, that's degree 2. 24x to the 4th, the exponent is 4, so that's degree 4. 19x, that's degree 1. And so then our polynomial is whatever is the biggest, uh, which in this case is 4. So that polynomial would have degree 4. That polynomial would be degree 4. As another example, consider this polynomial where we have a mixture of different variables. 31a squared b minus 45ab to the third minus 6a squared b squared minus 6a squared b squared. And so again, as we look at this problem here, we're going to look at each one in turn. And since we have multiple variables, we're going to have to total up the exponents. So when I come to 31a squared b, 
Remember the b has a 1 as its exponent, so that would be 2 plus 1 would make 31a squared b have degree 3. When I come to the 45ab to the third, remember the a has a 1 as its exponent, so that would be 1 plus 3 would make that would be degree 4. And then we come to the last one, 6a squared b squared, uh, 2 plus 2 means that's also degree 4. So overall, the overall result is, hey, uh, we're degree 4. That's the biggest degree for the whole thing, so the degree of that polynomial is 4.